I'm here for one reason. I wanted to add too that I got involved in 1998 when I reached an age that was sufficient to be joining with the other unfortunate people with asthma or health care uh, respiratory issues. Uh, I, I joined in the upper age group. I'm here for one reason, to inspire too long overdue action to reduce ozone in North Texas. I have had a, 30, a 20, 55 year career in problem solving. I can tell you there are only four reasons a problem does not get solved. We don't know what to do, we don't know how to do it, we don't want to do it, or we're prevented from doing it. And focusing on the ozone problem, we know what to do. Reduce ozone for the reasons that you've heard so many people already express. We know how to reduce the causal components that we can control. Uh, VOCs, certain or inorganic oxides, and so forth. These arise primarily from excessive burning of fossil fuels, both sides of it. The next two steps is where the clear-cut knowledge begins to get diverted. Do we want to fix the problem? Well, at least those with living with versus profiting from the problem. This becomes clear when we focus on the individual family impact, not propaganda about area growth and economy. The key step, the fourth one, not to be prevented, key step, prevent diversions that obstruct progress. There are times when we're three-fourths of the way to a solution when it is thwarted. That is, we meet the first three steps. Recent example, Denton citizens voting overwhelmingly to correct negative impacts of fracking in their community versus non-affected energy interest legislators shoving it down their throat. The real issue, I have participated in five hearings starting with new source review. At every one, there are two sides. Those wanting clean air and water, better health and quality of life, and reduction in premature death. And those representing industry profits with refrain, and economy and jobs, just E and J. No validated data or studies, just E and J. In summary, there are a lot of ways to solve any problem. If the do-nothings are concerned about E and J, they should go to the Commerce and Labor Departments, not to counter counteract the Environmental Pro Protection Agency. It is senseless to have repeated hearings on how to protect ourselves when state and local policymakers only respond to mythical economic benefits. Thank you.